Hi, my name is Phil Goza. Um, I decided I wanted to put together a little video on how to uh, do a simple, simple plus program for Crestron. And this is going to be for people who probably already have Crestron experience, but maybe you've never written a simple plus module before, and I wanted to explain that. So the first thing you're going to do is click on uh, File and New Simple Program. Uh, most of you should know this because you probably have written Crestron before, but you put in your name of your system and your program ID, click OK. Also, I just wanted to mention that this is just going to help you just to see if your main simple program is communicating with your simple plus program. That's pretty much all it's going to do, just to show you a basic communication between the two and how to set up that program. So. Um, double click to select your um, processor from this list. In my case I'm using an RMC3 processor and one more disclaimer um, I'm teaching myself how to use iMovie so you may see some silly effects and things like that in this video. Okay so now I think you're gonna need to save your uh, simple program and give it a name and um, then you can do a new simple plus module. After you do that, you might as well also do a save as and give it a name just to make things smoother. Uh, you can name your module the same as your simple program if you want. Uh, so after you do it, you're gonna see this um, blank file with the green letters. Um, and if you notice on line 51, you've got uh, 51 through 58, you've got several lines that are commented out. So you see the little slash, slash. Um, we're going to edit that, and we're going to change it. So here are the first edits you need on your um, Simple Plus file. Um, you uncomment the digital input and then you add um, hello world. I don't believe it's um, case sensitive, but you do need the semicolon at the end. Um, and we're not going to worry about the string input and the buffer input right now, but we want to, I wanted to show you how we can change a digital output and an analog output and a string output. So Basically, just make sure your um, your file, those four lines match exactly what I have. So now would be a good time just to make sure you haven't made any errors and that your program compiles. So <clears throat> you can hit build and then save and compile, or you can just hit F12 and then um, you should see total error zero, total warning zero. Okay, so scroll down back to your file, look on lines 161 and 166. You're going to see a little forward slash followed by an asterisk, and on 166 you're going to see an asterisk followed by a forward slash. So basically anything between line 161 and line 166 is commented out, that's why it appears green. So. Now you see if I get rid of those, if I make line 161 blank and 166 blank, now it's no longer commented out. So you have a that push input and everything else turned green. Um, now here's how I want to change that push. Instead of saying push input, I want it to say push hello world dig, which is short for digital. Um, I'll explain more. All right, so if you're a Crestron programmer, you know all about <coughs> digital signals, analog signals, and string signals. Um, so this should be pretty straightforward. Anytime the simple program changes the hello world digital, which is an input signal, it's going to do three things. It's going to set the um, signal called digital out to one, 
the signal called analog out to 999 and the string signal called string out to say hello world. Okay, so you hit F12 to compile. Make sure you don't have any errors or warnings. Um, go back to your simple program, expand project modules, and I believe you should now see um, your module that you created there called simple test, for example, and mine was called simple test. So, so all you need to do is drag that over to your logic folder, and then you want to um, <clears throat> double click on that module and it's going to come up as a um, symbol and then you can call you can call these sim signal names anything you want and you can call the reference name anything you want we're, we're going to look at it and debugger and see what happens okay you do need to go through several um, different screens to get your um, program compiled and loaded First you can use this compile button or you can um, go F12. Uh, you're going to need to, might need to save your program first. Uh, after it's complete, you, you click yes. You want to transfer the file, select your processor and your address book. Um, you might get some warnings. Obviously you're going to get some warnings because um, but that's okay for now. Um, and then hit the send button. And now we're going to go into uh, debugger and talk about uh, how to see that it's working. Okay, so hopefully you know what debugger is. Um, I'm in debugger now. And um, as you can see, my 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 analog out has a value of zero. My digital out is has the down arrow, so that means it's low, the signal is low, and the string out is empty. So I'm going to click on the hello world digital signal, which ignore the fact that in this picture it says digital out. You want to select the hello world digital signal, and then you want to touch the, the finger button and then all of a sudden you're gonna have all these things change the analog output is now equal to 999 the digital out is a high signal as you can see by the blue arrow and the string out says hello world so that's pretty much it so in summary um, you may have already seen this in your Crestron class and maybe forgot how to do it or maybe you haven't taken this Crestron class yet and you're curious about Simple Plus. Um, I'm pretty sure there's nothing online that really explains exactly how to do this. Um, so hope you enjoyed it and hope it was useful. Thanks.